This video will provide an overview of the features and functions of the Dr. HD 1000 S Plus meter. satellite list and the LNB LO configurations can be upgraded to a custom set. Also, the units of measurement can be changed. Firmware is available for updating for the latest and features. Before starting, we will do a database reset. UHF spectrum is useful for viewing over-the-air terrestrial television, though it does not work with American, North American ATSC, it is very useful for aligning a terrestrial antenna for maximum carrier signal. The meter can also be used as a viewing device for aligning security cameras. The meter can also be used for viewing television off of the satellite. An American North American data set is preloaded upon request or an international. Transponders are preloaded and the LNB power can be set to either fixed or automatic switching. The LMB LO frequency contains most frequently used settings. If there is a setting that is not in the list, it is quite easy to add using the software editor. It also supports switches of 22 kilohertz, DISEC, and motor control. Both DISEC 1.2 can be set for step movement, continuous, with settings for the steps of one through five movements. The satellite list can be edited as well as the transponder list in the meter itself. You can edit, add, or delete either satellites or transponders. You can delete one or delete all.
This is a very full featured meter that allows easy aiming. We will select the satellite that we're currently aimed at, which is 99 West Galaxy 16C. And then we will change the transponder to an active TP. By pressing the red button, the bar mode can be changed for different measurement types. Satellite spectrum is very fast. It updates nine frames per second, so it is very easy to see very small changes in antenna positioning or LMBF rotation. In this mode, you can press the SAT ID button, the blue button, and it will identify what satellite the dish is currently aimed at. Right now I'm moving between two different satellites and notice how quickly the meter responds. The receiver is locked onto a signal and it's analyzing it for network and transponder data. Some uplinkers include service and network data, others do not. ABC does include data on their transponder, so we know that we're aimed at 99 degrees west. There are different modes of analyzing the carriers. The manual SAT ID allows you to select the carrier that you want to analyze. And then also cross poll allows you to compare both polarities simultaneously and the meter will switch back and forth between the two probes to compare and optimize the SKU setting. Once the dish is installed and optimized, you can run a proof of performance document to provide to your customer. Insert a USB thumb drive in the meter and run the report function. This will save an XML file to a thumb drive and then the thumb drive file can be placed on a computer and viewed with any browser. This document can be provided to your customer or to document what the signal strength and other parameters were for the satellite installation. This screen is a shortcut for the network and service information tables. This is a separate screen for motor control.
now we are going to perform a blind scan of 99 West. There are other types of scans available, satellite scan and transponder scan. Right now we are performing a blind scan of all available free-to-air channels on Galaxy 19 C-Band. The horizontal scan is now completed and the vertical scan will be performed and services logged. Now remember this is a list of free to air only so encrypted channels are being filtered out. Now these are a few of the channels that are available on Galaxy 19. We'll just uh, flick through the channels. There is no EPG information and so that is why the banner at the bottom of the screen is blank. Press OK to have a channel list. We'll go down to eScapes Television Network and enjoy this for a moment. We can unmute the audio. Now we're going to find another satellite. We're going to move from 99 West over to 139 West. At this time there is still one transponder active on 139 West. Using an external controller I'm now moving the C-band dish to the West and this will take uh, a minute or so to uh, reach the area. We can watch the spectrum display change as we sweep by the satellites
Once we go past 139 West, we will see the spectrum display drop down as there are no more visible satellites for many degrees past 139. Okay, no more satellites seen, so we'll drive the dish back east until we see carrier signals again. There we go. That must be 139. And uh, let's bump it back towards the west to optimize it. Now let's do a SAT ID to verify what satellite we're on. And there we go, State of Alaska. So we do know those channels are on 139 West. So we have found 139 West. Now let's optimize the aiming for 139. And we can do that using our different meter settings. This is a QPSK, as you can tell by the four signatures in the quadrant. The more dispersed those signatures are, the poorer, the worse the reception. So the tighter those groupings are, the better the reception. Okay, now we're going to do a scan of 139 West. We found a, some channels. Thank you for watching the video today, and I hope that the tour through the meter and uh, the uh, different uh, menu settings and seeing it in operation is helpful. If you have any questions, give us a call. TitaniumSatellite.com at 530-652-4405. Or visit us on the web, titaniumsatellite.com.